a gel manicure weeks ago, but now it's time to remove it. And perhaps you're wondering, what do I do? How do I do this? Well, makeup artist Brady Price shows us a three-step process on how to get it done. Good morning, it's Brandy with Brandy Price Image. And I know what you're thinking. Brandy, we have been under quarantine for nearly four weeks now, and I still cannot get this gel manicure off of my nails. Well, I'm going to show you three simple tricks today to be able to get those nails off so you have a fresh start in just about 20 minutes. Okay, these are the items that you're going to need at home. First, you're going to need a nail file and a manicure tool to scrape the polish off once we have soaked your nails. You'll need cotton rounds, Q-tips, cotton balls, something that has a little bit of cotton to it that you can use to soak in the nail polish remover, which we have here, some foil, aluminum foil, and then some finishing hand cream. These are the tools that you're going to need. First, we're going to take the nail file and file over each of your nails that you have the polish. So you kind of want to get in there and make sure that you are getting the shiniest part layer off of the manicure as you possibly can. Your second step really is going to be to soak your nails. So you want to grab whatever you chose that is cotton and we're going to dip that into the nail polish remover. It doesn't have to be overly saturated, but it has to be enough. And you're going to put that on top of your nail. And then you are going to grab the foil and wrap that tight around your nail. You're gonna go through that with all of your nails and then you're going to leave that on for about 10 minutes until you have gone through all of the layers of polish and made it soft enough to scrape. The final step is going to be to scrape the polish off. Um, I have this tool here, but you can also use the opposite end of tweezers. So don't use the pinching part of the tweezer, but use the uh, flat part of the tweezer. This, I'm going to use this angle here, and you start to scrape off all of the polish once it is fully soaked. If you are only able to scrape off some of the polish, then you need to go ahead and repeat the soaking process again, but this is going to get all of your polish off and then you'll be ready to moisturize. After our three steps, we wanna make sure that we are adding moisture back because we just use nail polish remover over a good portion of our fingertips, not just our nails. So we wanna make sure that we wash our hands and use a, an emollient rich hand lotion or hand treatment. So that's it. That's how you remove your gel manicure in three simple steps. To follow along with more quarantine beauty tips, follow brandypriceimage.com. We look forward to showing you an at-home hand treatment to help heal those cracked and bleeding hands at home. All right, Brandy, thank you very much. Time